So you've got your new Arduino project that is going to absolutely rock the world. You come to compile and upload it. It compiles your amazing faultless code. And then it sits there forever uploading. Or rather, not. And yet only last week you successfully uploaded another Arduino project. But now it's not working. What's going on? It's like cables, connections. What, what is it? Well, of course, this might not be a solution for everybody, depending on what you've done, but this is something that's tripped me up over the last year or so, every now and again, because I develop mostly on the SP32, and then I come to my Arduino, and I do a little bit of a, something on the Arduino, I forget about this particular setting, but if you don't have this setting, then you're not going to upload, possibly. Basically, there was um, a change to the Arduino's environment some time back, they changed the bootloader programmed onto the chip. And if you've got an old bootloader on the chip, and when we're getting them from China or wherever, that possibly, yeah, there's old stock out there that has it on, or they're just programming it with the old bootloader, then you're going to have problems. If you've got the new bootloader, and you're using the old bootloader, you're going to have problems. So we need to change that setting. So if you go up to where it says Tools, and then go to the Processor, and you see you've got that Choices. 80 mega 328 or the 80 mega 328p old bootloader. I don't think anybody really uses the 168, do they? Do they? I've never used it anyway. Um, so depending on what bootloader you've got on your Arduino, we'll decide on which one of these you need to use. And it won't give you any helpful messages or anything about that might be the possible reason. Uh, it'll just sit there, pretty much. So I have probably a mixture of Arduinos with new and old bootloaders on, and maybe I should just reprogram them all with a new bootloader, which you can do using the uh, interface here. Uh, but I don't. And then I go off for months, maybe working on ESP32s, come back, it's set to a different setting. I forget. I know, I'm rubbish. I forget. But I do. And, and people do. It's just what happens. Um, but yeah, if you thought you've tried everything else, care, but it's like, what's going on? Just remember to check that setting. And that's it for this extremely quick video. It just I'm working on this project, which is obviously going to rock the world and change the world and all that lot. Maybe not. But yeah, if this has been helpful to you, hit that like or subscribe even if you've not seen this channel before. But we'll move on quickly. Very quick video. No intro, no outro. Catch you later.